everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome back, or welcome if you are first time here, to my new video tutorial. Today I will be making flowers. Yay! <laughs> I love flower making. And today I want to show you an easy way to create Foamiran flowers. You could say these are peony flowers. I usually do uh, not try to create like real um, flowers but well if I would have to choose a real flower which these are similar to I would say it's probably peony. You can create bigger or smaller sizes and I will explain in the video how to do, uh, how to do that. I will be using Lady E Design Flower 13 and Formuran in uh, various, um, actually not on the video, in one color, but I used various colors here because I wanted to check if for the different colors of Formuran it still will be the same technique. Okay, so let me uh, show you what else do you need. First of all, we will need die cut uh, for me run and I cr will create smaller and bigger flower and uh, we will use just different um, quantity of the layers for the smaller flower I use one the smallest uh, layer one bigger and two bigger so three different sizes for the bigger flower, I use four different sizes. One smaller, one one size bigger, one one size bigger, and then two one size bigger. <laughs> so five layers in total for the bigger flower. Then we will need something to add the color to your flowers. It can be ink, it can be oil or soft pasta. Then a tool to um, add a little bit of shape with quite small uh, ball endings, scissors, foam, um, hot glue gun and iron and also stamens and a piece of wire. My iron is not working great anymore so I will uh, have to set it up almost as maximum. It's still not working right but please set up your iron between two and three dots so it, so it's not super hot and we can start with uh, adding a color to your layers i will be adding a color only in the middle of in the center of each layer and i'm adding a uh, darker brown brown than my uh, for me run so for the pink i added darker pink or uh, darker pink ink in the center you can uh, skip that part as well because uh, the color is actually not much noticeable but uh, i like to <laughs> i like to do it so i'm not skipping that Part and uh, on the tutorial I will show you how I usually do it. So please add the color in the center in each layer on one side is enough. I forgot to mention that all the flowers are die cut with Lady E Design Flower 13 cutting die set and I used four, uh, lay four sizes out of five in the set so you can still create a bigger flower by adding um, one or two more um, layers of that biggest uh, die which uh, i didn't use on the video after adding a color we can start shaping the layers and i will do the same for both flowers so starting with the smallest petal place it on the iron and wait for it to curl. You can see that for me it's going slowly, but if your uh, iron is warmer, it will go slightly faster. So when the layer is smaller and when you can see that the petals are curled, I'm just pressing each petal with the tool into the foam and then pressing with the bigger 
ending in the center and just bringing all petals to very close to my tool so it will create like a quite closed um, layer and I will do the same for uh, the second flower so uh, starting again with the iron place it on the iron and wait for the layer to become smaller uh, so petals are slightly you know curled and then press uh, each petal with a tool into the foam and again press in the center as well and bring all petal all petals close to each other so we want the first layer to be quite uh, you can say quite tight when we will be uh, putting the whole flower together this is the smallest layer the most uh, closed layer in the flower for the second layer I will uh, do the same just um, pressing with the uh, bigger tool in the, in each petal or actually you could use the same but um, you need to just uh, maybe adjust check the size of your tool to the size of your petals <laughs> if i can say so it cannot you cannot use this very small uh, ending for a like bigger petal because it will not work how it's supposed to do so we want to create uh, bumps in the petals but um, the second layer it's not so closed anymore so pressing with the tool and then again pressing in the center bringing all petals together in first two layers the petals will uh, overlap quite a lot okay and then the third fourth and fifth layer for the bigger flower uh, uh, five layers for the smaller flower four layers we will just uh, place the petals on the iron to just warm them and uh, shape them how I usually shape every other flower so bring all petals together and twist on the uh, end of the petals I want to create the crests the wrinkles on the edges just to give the flower more natural uh, look and this is what I will be doing for the rest, uh, the remaining uh, layers for both flowers. I'm hoping that my explanation is clear to you, that you will be able to repeat uh, the process and to create the same flowers. It, it, how you, you can see that it worked every time because I have created already few of these and it's a good technique uh, even if you're not sure at the beginning how uh, you know how to when you will be doing your first flower just try to do uh, everything I'm doing and you should be absolutely fine so uh, still shaping those uh, remaining layers I stretch each petal slightly to the side with my nails i mean you can use the tool as well and then i'm using the ball just to smooth uh, the layer because i leave the nail marks so the tool it's uh, really helping me to smooth each petal and then smooth the center as well after uh, i will finish the shaping i will show you how to put the uh, both flowers together for both flowers i'm using combination of the stamens so i have three white and three brown stamens i will try to make them equal on one side then i place the wire in the middle fold the stamens over the wire and then fold the wire don't twist the wire because we will be removing it later so it's better just to keep it uh, close together but don't twist it and I go through the center of my first layer first layer I want to be quite tight so I'm pulling the stamens almost uh, to the um, end like when I can feel that uh, 
uh, the thread of the stamens is ending and those uh, heads are beginning i am going to add a glue in the center and then um, place the like overlap the petals i go round with the petals overlap them with each other and then i will pull the stamens uh, a little bit so they go a little bit lower and the um, the first layer go tighter okay we want the first layer quite tight and then for the second layer i will do actually the same the second layer it doesn't need to be so tight anymore so i'm going to add a glue between the layers only in the center of the flower you don't need to worry about uh, like position of the petals because they will overlap as well for the second layer and then uh, for the third layer still don't need to really look for the position on the petals it will be important with the last uh, layer so with the last layer we will place the petals in the gaps um, between the petals from the previous one <laughs> so the last layer shouldn't overlap with the uh, previous layer okay this is only the important uh, part here i'm adding glue uh, between each layer so when we will uh, put the flower together we can trim the stamens uh, off you don't need to worry they will be falling out because the glue is between each layer and it really keeps them uh, in the position for the last layer i like to uh, position my layer first before adding the glue i check uh, you know i move it around and check where uh, it will be the best um, place to uh, kind of stop with it so i want the petals do not overlap with the previous layer so uh, like i said i'm positioning the layer first and then i'm adding the glow between the layers and this is uh, it for that first flower i can trim the stamens off and the flower is ready i will repeat now the process to put together the second slightly bigger flower so starting again with the stamens and the smallest layer like i said this the first one needs to be quite tight then slightly looser the second one and then all layers uh, quite loose and here you will see that with the second layer uh, my petals didn't <laughs> didn't position great so i had to add more glue than i would usually add just to keep them in, pla in place because one of the petal was sticking out and i didn't like that so by uh, saying that i want to tell you that uh, when you, you don't you know the the flowers doesn't need to be perfect and uh, when you will be making them please do not get uh, discouraged easily because you can um, like help or make it make the flower better while you are uh, sticking it together you can add glue here and there uh, you can remove some petals you can add some petals it's uh, just just give yourself a time to uh, make them and really uh, I'm hoping you will find it and enjoyable I love making flowers it's very relaxing as long as you do not stress over it it's a great um, great activity <laughs> i may say so uh i will repeat all um i did for the first for the first flower only here please uh check your last layer so it's not do not so it's not overlapping with the previous one oh my gosh i'm hoping you will um you will understand what i'm saying uh it's not a great day for me i don't know maybe it's too early or <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's just too hot i cannot uh, speak properly today anyway i want to thank you very very much for watching my tutorials and coming back to my channel i hope you will find my videos useful and please if you um 
create something with my tutorials tag me on social media it's a great pleasure for me to see your creations uh, to see that you are using the uh, knowledge uh, or the experience i'm trying to uh, share with you and also uh, thank you for all comments that are really encouraging uh, to keep me going to make new videos um recently i i didn't have a great uh, time uh, i may, i may say and like all of us i guess so um reading your comments really makes me happy anyway please try to make these flowers they are so cute not difficult to make if you know uh, what you should do for each layer you will find it easy Thank you very, very much and I'm hoping you will be back to my channel soon. Have a lovely creative day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.